गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट पीटरसन कॉयल दैट इज एक्चुअली वेरिएबल रिएक्टेंस ग्राउंडिंग सो इन माय प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द मेथड ऑफ न्यूट्रल ग्राउंडिंग एंड देयर आई हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द सॉलिड ग्राउंडिंग रेजिस्टेंस ग्राउंडिंग एंड रिएक्टेंस ग्राउंडिंग दिस इज द एक्सटेंशन पार्ट ऑफ द रिएक्टेंस ग्राउंडिंग वेयर विल यूज अ वेरिएबल रिएक्टेंस uh in the in the part of the grounding what is the purpose what is the calculation we'll discuss all those part today now uh the concept of peterson coil uh was given by mr w peterson that is uh, in the year 1971 now the uh, here the main concept behind the main concept behind peterson main concept behind peterson coil is uh, the capacity the capacitive compound of the fault current is high in the ungrounded system as i have already discussed it when the system is not grounded what will happen the the voltages the phase voltage will become root 3 times that is equal to the line voltages so the charging current will increase to 3 times to its normal value so there is a there is a there is a huge problem so uh, that that current can be controlled by using peterson coil now when uh, lg fault occur the the magnitude of the capacitive current becomes 3 times so that can be controlled by using uh, peterson coil now what is the main motto in a peterson coil what will use will use will use a variable reactance will use a variable reactance rather we can we can use we can use tapping also here i have used a jockey this is also applicable this is also applicable the inductance of the peterson coil is Uh, selected or adjusted at such a value which causes the inductive current can exactly nullify the capacitive current we know that we we know that uh, if if capacitive current lie here so obviously inductive current will be in 180 degree phase shift with it so if somehow it is possible that il and ic are same so they will cancel each other we know that so here Uh, by varying the inductance what we'll do we, we, so somehow we need to we need to make sure that the charging current or the capacitive current and the inductive current or the fault current through the fault uh, through the in variable inductance must be same so that is our main motto now let us calculate the inductance of a peterson coil uh, let us calculate the inductance of a peterson coil now uh, let me assume the capacitance Let, let us consider the capacitance between conductor and the ground is c farad okay they are c farad so so during lg fault whenever lg fault occur whenever lg fault occur what will happen the current the current i the current i which is usually not normal current uh, i at healthy condition okay i h will become Uh, uh, ih uh, sorry uh, the fault current will become three time fast a minute say uh, say i is the i is the charging current ic is the charging current at normal condition so what will be the value of value of ic it will be v phase by xc the, the reactants the reactants or v phase by One by twice by F C. Okay, now uh, we know that during L G fault, the charging current will become three times. So, so during fault at the faulty condition, at the faulty condition, charging current at faulty condition will be equal to three of I C. There is the charging at, at healthy condition. So that that will be three into V phase by one by Twice by F C. Okay, so, uh, or rather we can write, or rather we can write six 
pi f c b face okay so uh, after fault after fault uh, if if we connect uh, after fault if we consider that the fault current is flowing say there is a lg fault occur uh, there is a lg fault occur so fault current will flow in that path okay so fault current will flow at that path so let us consider let us consider this is the this is the il this is the il current flow uh, during fault to the through the reactance mm. okay so obviously uh, uh, at, at the fault this star point will have a phase voltage it will have a phase voltage it will no, no longer zero volt if it is solidly grounded then, then the voltage at the star point is zero but it is not solidly grounded there is inductance so the phase voltage will appear here okay so what you can write we can write that i l is equal to v phase why because v, because at the star point the voltage will appear is equal to the phase voltage divided by the xl we can write instead of xl we can write twice by fl now now for cancellation now for cancellation for cancellation of charging current charging current uh, three icf must be equal to il if this two current is balanced that is resonant condition okay system will be good so so this two equation is equal so what you can write we can write 6 pi f c v phase is equal to b phase by twice pi f l so from here we can write l is equal to 1 by 12 pi square f square c so this is the this is the calculation of uh, inductance and whenever we are designing a Peterson coil uh, we should know the value of the charging capacitance in Fahrenheit. Uh, the main advantage let me write down the main advantage of Peterson coil the tendency the tendency of developing three phase fault three phase fault from from single phase fault can be reduced can be reduced but so they so charging that, that means if one one phase is in faulty condition the rest of the two phases will be healthy enough okay because because uh, the here um, by by providing the inductance the resonance condition uh, resonance condition can be achievable so that is peterson coil thank you for watching my video